Hello coders, welcome back to another tutorial. This tutorial, I want to show you how we can configure email and how we can send email uh, to the new created account. So it's like a send a verification email for a user we just created. So let's go to our the room that we are that we created on the previous video, and let's go to room settings. So here there's a section called email. So in here we are supposed to add some uh, the email which is sender email and also the details of the sender and we need to configure the SMTP of this user uh, that we that is going to send the email. So by default a uh, Kicklog does not send emails. So you have to configure this S SMTP. So for me I'm using a zo and i have a custom domain that i'm currently using so before we do that let's configure a default email here then let's come back to the room settings so this email was just we was required here for us to test sending of email so we're going to send email to this email address so here we just say we were going to add a sender email a sender email that you configured to your SM, SMTP. So my sender email, this is going to be my sender email and here the name, display name, I will just say code with BISC. So if a new account created, this email is coming from code with BISC and a reply to it doesn't matter. And for the SMTP host, I'm going to use the ZOO so let me sh add my so smtp so you have to look for your for your smtp or you can use a gmail for you to test i'm using this is going to be my so and the port it's five eight seven and uh, we can just search for so just say so smtp so this configs are here and so i'm i i used the i i used the one with the dot com and this is the port that i'm using so i'm using zo so if you want you can just create an account on zo and you can configure with your custom domain so after doing that uh, i have to enable enable I uh, know this one. I have to enable start TLS. This one is being supported by the Zoho. So after then I will add authentication also. So here I will add my username and password for the SMTP. So let me add my username and password. So my username is going to be this one, which is the sender email address. This is the user that is going to send. So when you create when you create your SMTP on Zo, when you create account on SMTP, you create a user, and that user is the one that you are going to use to send emails. So here, this is going to be my password. And let me test connection and you to send an email to this email address. So let me test connection. You can see it's a success so it means my credentials are working fine so i will be able to save these details i can click save so let me wait for the email address so as you can see i have received this email address and uh, zero seconds ago zero minutes ago so it means it's it is working fine so what you want to do now we want to integrate now with the kick lock on our spring boot application so let's go to our spring boot and we need to send an email after a new account has been created we want to send a new email we want to send a verification email so we can open our project here this is the implementation of creating a new user so when creating a new user we are setting an email verified to true so from now on we have to set it to false after setting to false, we need to send a verification email. So what we can do here, we just create a new method. And this one is, um, we can make it a void email verification. 
then here we pass a user id so we need to get a user and we use this get method and here it's a user id once you get a user we need to send very we need to call this method send verify email by calling this method we can now be able to to, ver to send a verification email with the with the configurations that we added so let's say here it means a new account has been created so what you want to do now from this we want to get a user from this one we want to get a this user because when you after the response of this one we are not getting a a user id so we want to get a user id of this user which was which was created and we can send an email so we can we can do this here we can search by username and the username is this one which is from our request and we set it to true exact exactly we want to get a this username without the wildcards so after doing that we just do this and this is going to be uh, we can do this and let's check if the collection is is not empty if the list is not empty we can use collection u2 this one dot is empty So if the collection is not empty here, we need to stream this to so find by stream filter and then here we just say objects dot equals from java 8 we need the account which is not yet verified and we just say use a representation dot email verified for all email verified which are false and we need to get the first one or else goes to now So after after we have this, we know by default it won't be now. So we just call this one the verify email. Let's call our method, which is this one we, that we created, send verification email. Then use a representation one dot id. like this so we can add the asset it's okay then here let's do this let's add like in email was sent to user id this one So let's test new account creation and let's see if we are going to receive an email. So we want to test create new user. After creating a new user, we want to very we, we, we want to receive a verification email. So let me test this one and I enter my e username. And it's called with bisc at gmail.com code. And the password 
this is going to be the password so let's click execute and wait for response and we get a 200 it's a success and then this id is the user which was created so let's wait for the email if we go to that to the dashboard if you go to the users page you can see this is the this is the user that we created and and you can see it's showing that the email is not yet verified if you go here email verification is false so let's wait for the email and we can verify together so we can also add this method into our let's add this method into our interface and we can call this as an endpoint then here let's add it override so let's go to this key clock api and this key clock api we can just do this we can do this send verification email and it will be a put mapping you want to update this and here it's going to be verify email and i can say send verify email so after doing this you can also use this endpoint if you want to to send to send in you can also use this endpoint if you want to send a verification email so so in our swagger we can refresh this and you can see we can you can use this endpoint to verify to if you want to verify an email so you can see i have received this email a title code with bisc and this email is the one that i'm going to use to verify the new account which we created which is this one which is here if i refresh here you can see the account is not yet verified verification is no so let me verify the account to verify i have to click this update then i will click proceed and the account has been updated so let me refresh here it will be a blue one As you can see, the email has been verified. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you are new to this channel, may you kindly subscribe, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we upload new video. Salut Kodas, let's meet on another video.